Hey guys, it's Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to do my 100 polish challenge update. So this is basically a spin on the project polish, but we are trying to go through and use as many polishes in our collection as we can to get to 100. And um, for me specifically, I'm going through and trying to figure out if I want to pan, keep, or declutter polishes because I have so many. So let's talk about the stuff that I'm actually trying to finish really quick and then we can get into everything else. So I am trying to finish this little mini guy from Wet n Wild, this clear one. Honestly, I made that first line so big that I can't even mark an update, so we're just going to pretend that I used it. And then for the other mini that I'm trying to finish off, this is from Essie, and it's in Velvet Voyage. There's a little bit of progress underneath the line, but again, it's not really enough to remark, so I'm just going to leave it. And I haven't really been using this one very much because I'm working on a cross-stitch project right now because I'm a grandma, and it rubs off on the eight o'clock and it leaves marks and then you can see it. And I really don't dig that because um, it's a gift. So I'd like it to stay nice. Moving on. Um, so the stuff that I used, the first polish was Port of Miami, which is by KO Polish. It's this really pretty royally blue situation. I really like this color. I really like this formula. It's gonna stay. I liked the KL Polish formula a lot, and I haven't tried any of her new, her light lacquer polishes. So if you guys have, I'd love to know your thoughts below. Um, I also use the KL Polish in MIA, which is like the Miami. It's like meant to be Miami. Um, this is super pretty. It's really, really bright, and it has a tiny blue pearlescence in it, if you can see it. Yeah, you can right there. The pearl essence doesn't really come off on your nails, but it is really pretty. It pretty much goes with everything. I'm not mad about it. I also used up, not used up, but I used it and rolling it out. This is Undercover by Wet n Wild. And this isn't the most long lasting, but honestly, if you're trying to do like a one coat polish in a pinch, this is your girl. Um, I wore this for my sister's baby shower before quarantine struck, and it was great because I just slapped it on it was pretty even I didn't really need a second coat and we went um this will probably get panned in the future eventually but for right now it's just gonna go back on my shelf and then the last one that I use and I'm rolling out is Kale Polish's Hug and Roll which is a friend's reference this is a super light pastel-y bluey pink and I like it a lot it's pretty it looks nice on the nail um and right now I have nothing on my nails but those are the ones I'm rolling out. The ones that I've used once and need to use one more time before I swap them are these two from China Glaze. This first one is in Below Deck and it's separated as hell because it's old. Um, it looks like that. This is a really pretty polish, honestly. It's like a taupey purple gray and it's pretty, honestly. Like it sounds and like in the bottle it kind of doesn't look like it is, but it sort of looks... I, I like it. Okay, I'm weird. Leave me alone. And then the other one is Love's a Beach. I thought it was Life's a Beach, so my bad. I'm pretty sure I said it wrong in the other one. This is like the most fluorescent pink um, neon friend. This is a matte, which is super weird. I'm not a big fan of it because you have to use like two or three coats to make it opaque, but the color is a really, really cool. So I honestly will probably keep it once I use it one more time. Um, that's for me. I didn't say this in the beginning, but I want, I'm trying to use everything at least twice so I can really get a feel for it, whether it's like once on my fingers and once on my toes or whatever, um, just so I can kind of decide more fully, if that makes any sense. So really quickly, I'm going to grab a couple more polishes that I want to roll in. And we'll see what we can do. Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, so since Easter is coming up, I basically just pulled all of my light purpley shades. I'm going to get one more just for comparison. So hold on. Okay. All right. I'm back. So I pulled all of my like lightish purplish shades for Easter because it's coming up. And technically this Essence one in 
so what I've already used and like decided to keep but I want to kind of compare it to the other colors that I have and honestly I'll probably still end up keeping it because the wet and wild purple I have is not cruelty free so this is layout in lavender it was a spring limited release a billion years ago and then like I said the essence one we're pulling back in this is a kale polish in charmed and it's like a pearlized blue purple shift I think if I remember correctly this is more of like a topper but this one, I want to compare to this Sinful Colors one, which is in Let Me Go. And it is like a really similar kind of oil slick situation. So I sort of want to compare them because if they're close enough, I can get rid of this one. Because this is not cruelty free. And I've just been holding on to it because I think it's pretty. That is everything. Definitely go check out all the ladies linked down below. This was created by my friend Julie who, which I don't think I said that in the beginning, but she's linked down below for sure, and then all the other ladies participating, and um, if you're doing any kind of project polish, I'd love to hear about it down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to hang out with me anywhere else on the internet, my socials are all linked in the description box, and I hope you guys are having a great day, week, weekend, whenever you're watching this, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, everyone.